Hello everyone, my name is Sergeant Duran and this is Vet Talk. Today we have Frankie Cortez from Way Out. Frankie, thank you for being here today. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, can you tell us a little bit about your past because you have an interesting story. Um, well, I am a retired correction officer, New York City Correction Department. And when I worked as a correction officer, I drank a lot. I consider myself an alcoholic. I went through uh, numerous um, rehabilitation places to rehabilitate myself. And it wasn't until I um, surrendered to the Lord and became a soldier of God and uh, began to help those people that are in need of uh, rehabilitation with drugs and alcohol through a program called Way Out, which is you know, uh, their way out of getting out of drugs. Now, is this a nonprofit or is it a community program? It's a nonprofit community program located in 520 148th Street in the Bronx. Okay, and, and this is run by like a, a church or? It's, a run, it's run by a church group and a pastor. Uh, his name is Job. He runs the place. And uh, there's uh, approximately like 25 men there. And they sleep there, they live there, and they, uh, when they enter the program, they have to uh, give the program nine months of their time. And uh, while they're there, they have to read the Bible, pray, fast, uh, everything that uh, a good Christian will do, you know? So this is a full service, you know, program. This is not like... You know, like these other, well, I don't want to be rude about the other ones, but they come in, they give you a, like a one hour class, and then they send you on your way. This is no, you have to submit, class. you have to submit to the program, you have to be willing to do that. There's a lot of people that cannot do it, and they run away and they leave. You have to uh, give it uh, your all. This is, this is the last, um, this is the end of the rope. You know what I mean? This yeah. is like you hit rock bottom, you have nowhere to go, but up. Now, is it, Alcohol or is it a full? full it's patient? alcohol. The majority of the people that go there is alcohol, but you have heroin addicts, you have um, crack, um, pills, but most of them is alcohol. Now, with your past, including the correction and what you're doing now, uh, you mentioned a church. Now, can you give us the connection what you have with the church? Well, I, I um, belong to a church called Casa de Dios. My pastor is Pastor Martinez, Bartolo Martinez. He's located in uh, 206 New Main Street in Yonkers. And uh, we, um, we are in charge of once a month bringing the Word of God to way out, teach them about God. So uh, what we do is we teach them, you know, biblical principles and stuff like that. You know. So your position there is a... I'm a chaplain. Wow. So... A retired corrections officer, um, a community facilitator, and a chaplain. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any board titles? <laughs> no. Nah, well, I'm a soldier of God. I consider myself a soldier of God. You know, I like to help the community. I like to help uh, when I can. And um, I, I think if everyone was to give a little and help those people that are down, it would be a better world, for sure. So did I improperly say your title earlier? Should I have said chaplain? Frankie Cortez? Like, I don't want to get in trouble later. No, you could call me Chaplain Cortez. Okay, Chaplain Cortez. Yes. Okay, that's good, because I don't want to get... Um, now, I know most chaplains in New York City, they belong to certain organizations. Is there any one particular... That yeah, we belong with? to UNIPAS, which is a union of pastors, which is uh, located in New Jersey. It comes out, it comes out of New Jersey. And now, they, they have a... They're, they're facilitated with the, the cops over there, right? Um, or is it separate? It's separate, totally separate, separate yeah. Or there are different entities of chaplain. You know, this uh, particular chaplain uh, uh, organization that I belong to is um, to, uh, to, uh, to help out in, 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 in big areas, like okay. uh, uh, over the world. It's an international chaplain. Gotcha. For example, if there's a, uh, an earthquake in Chile, we go to Chile. If there's a problem in Ecuador, we go to Ecuador. It's international. It's all over the world. It's very big. That's incredible because, I mean, you know, I was trying to get at, so you're the, the church is in New Jersey, but you're going 
all over New York City. To we go all over the world. And the world yes. on top of that. So, you, so I was like thinking all over the city, then, you know, you come out I, of nowhere. I am stationed in the city. You're stationed in the city. I'm stationed in the city, but we, when we have the time to go places, then we do. It's, it's a voluntarily thing. You have to be willing to do it. Is there any big uh, locations that you've gone recently or the, the church has? We have a big group that goes to Nicaragua. And that's very big because the people in Nicaragua, they are in need. There's a place called La Churreca. They live in, in, in a garbage dump. And uh, my church, the, the group that I belong to, goes there. And we bring them food, um, um, beds, cribs, Once again, a full money. service is incredible. Yeah, it's incredible, the work that we do. I'm going to look more into that now. I met, I heard about you through Daisy, your wife, right. who attended the BronxNet um, production course with me. Now, yeah, she tricked me to be here. <laughs> she tricked me to be here. <laughs> yeah. Yes, thank you, Daisy. <laughs> now, how did you meet your wife, though? Because she's, I mean, she's a go-getter herself. My wife is a long story, but um, one day I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> okay. All right. So, with that said, after with that said, um, we're gonna head to break um, so we can get. So I can try to get more information out of you about Def her, okay? Definitely. So uh, if you guys will be right back with us. and best friends. I love my sister. My heart, my heart doesn't, doesn't see race. race. Love, love is love. Our family is no less than any other family. They call me Maxi, but I prefer tripod. I was your above average four-legged homie and then wham, bam, minivan. Some people pity me. Now that's lame. I still run, fetch, and swim. And the ladies love me. I'm the ultimate wingman. Just don't ask me to high five. Sure, I look cute now, but when my owner lost his job, it was rough. I was living on the street, and one night, me and this Cocker Spaniel got into it so bad, I wound up looking like an ice cream cone. I cried a little bit, but thankfully I got rescued, so I'm running, I'm jumping, all back to my old self. And I'm ready to give unconditional love, even if you put a lampshade on my head. Hello everyone, my name is Sergeant Duran, this is Vet Talk. Once again, we have Chaplain Cortez. Now, Chaplain, I was able to, uh, you know, twist your arm a little bit. Can you please tell us a little bit of how you met Daisy? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, uh, I'm a good, I'm a uh, domino player. I like to play dominoes online. And uh, uh, maybe like 13 years ago, there was Yahoo Games came up into the field and and I logged in and I got into a site to play dominoes. And I, I began to play with Daisy. She went by the name La Tongonera. <laughs> and, and I went by the name El Zorro, you know? And then we, we, you know, we began to uh, play against one another. I beat her, of course, you know, it was better than that. <laughs> and um, she, um, in this particular website, you could chat while you play. So we began to chat, we began to talk and 
And then um, we kept in touch for months. And then uh, I had a dog, very small little Jack Russell. I couldn't take care of this dog anymore because as a correction officer, we worked a lot of overtime. I don't know if you know that uh, problem with that, that, that it's mandatory overtime. You have to do like 16 hours. Mandatory. Yeah, they oh, lock you in, you can't go home. I didn't know that. So I couldn't take care of my dog. And I, I asked her, hey, listen, I'm giving away a dog. You know, you want it? And I sent her a picture and she said, oh, beautiful dog, bring them over. I said, where you live? She said, Ohio. I said, Ohio. Oh, wow. Well, I drove to Ohio eight hours to bring her the dog and uh, we met, fell in love and got married. And that's a beautiful and story. And we've been married 12 years. That's a beautiful story. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that, Chaplin. I appreciate yeah. that. We no longer have the dog, I'm s unfortunate. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. But at least he got you guys together. That's right. We have another dog now. Okay. So <laughs> lesson number one, get a dog. Got it. Thank yeah. you so much. Now, let's talk about the rehabilitation through music. Now, you mentioned um, your the screen name. She had a, sounded like a conga or something like that. The what? Daisy's uh, screen name? Tongonera. What's that? What does that mean? I don't know. According to her, that was her name because she had a radio show in Puerto Rico called El Tongoneo in the morning. It's one of them funny radio stations. Okay. And she gave her name. Her I name was that. La Tongonera. She has a great personality. I yeah, see that. she gave herself that name. And then your screen name was? El Zorro. And that means? El Zorro is like uh, the fox, like the smart, fox. outfoxing everybody. You got that right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So please tell us about how you're using rehabilitation through music. Well, rehabilitation through music, that's a, that's a very interesting thing because uh, my inspiration through music, uh, it used to be worldly music, but now it's godly music. Oh, nice big switch right it's there. It's a big switch. Godly music is inspiring, it's spiritual, it lifts you up. Uh, and I, I learned to worship God. And through worship, through worshiping the Lord and worshiping God, my spirit is lifted. And you, you, all your worries, all your um, problems seem to just melt away when you worship the Lord. You know, I like the way you worded it earlier when you said uh, soldier of God. Yeah. Now, I'm assuming that because you're a community and you're such a wide span that you guys encompass, you meet a lot of veterans. Now, coming across that, I mean, if a veteran did come or needed your assistance, I mean, what, what have, do you have oh, any Oh, we help them, yeah, right away. We help veterans, you know, veterans serve, serve this country. And there's a lot of veterans that are in, in need of help. And sometimes they, they don't even have a place to lay their heads. Well, the reason that I, I um, when I heard, you know, yeah. what you do and I jumped at the opportunity to have you is because, you know, the VA is one service that we have a lot of veterans don't feel comfortable going there. Right. So I try to do my best to try to bring in more resources to the veteran community. And now that I found out you guys are, I mean, once again, it, it's incredible that you guys not the one hour here and then leave. It's a full encompass. Yeah, you have to, you have to give it your all. You have to give this program nine months. You live there. We feed you. We take care of you. Um, we also take you to your medical appointments. We set you up with doctors. We set you up with social service. Uh, we help you get food stamps. We help you get um, uh, your your welfare case open, if that's the case. So we'll get you back on your we, feet. Yeah, we get you back on your feet, man. So 100%. that hopefully they can be Definitely. a success story like you. Definitely. Would you happen to have any stories of any individual that, you, I mean, obviously you can't go into details. I'm gonna tell you this one story that, that stood with me. One day, I'm driving to the program and I see a guy looking in the garbage. I mean, literally, looking in the garbage for food. I lower my window and I say, hey, you're not gonna find it there. <laughs> and he looked at me and I said, you're not gonna, whatever you're looking for is not in that garbage. But if you give me two hours of your time, I promise you, you're gonna change your life. You're, not, you're no longer gonna look through the garbage. And I will buy you a sandwich and I will buy you something to drink. So he got in my car, as smelly as he was. I got him in my car and I brought him to the program. And uh, that day, he surrendered to the Lord. He became part of the program. He signed into the program. We took him in as a patient. And this guy's one of the leaders there in the program right That's now. That's beautiful. That's in, I love hearing stories like that. Yeah, it's incredible. He went, well, you know the diamonds they found in the rut, in the dirt. Yeah. And then the diamond, 
once you find it, you got to clean it. Once you clean it, then you cut it. Then you buff it and you shine it. And then it looks, and then it glows. It looks step beautiful. By step, and that's there. where we are. We are diamonds for the Lord, man. Now, the, the music, you mentioned the, the religious music. But um, is there any, I've, you know, I've never got into it too much, but is there an individual or a group that you would recommend for us to, like, maybe as it started to break into it? You, to listen to yes. music? Oh, man, there's so many groups out there. You got a good group called Tercel Cielo. Uh, that's in Spanish. You know, they, they sing beautiful. And if you English, you have, um, uh, you know, the soundtrack from uh, Fireproof. No, I, I don't know if you've seen that movie, Fireproof. No, I haven't. It's but a beautiful soundtrack. With that recommendation, it's, I think it's I a know. very good. It's a, I'm waiting while I'm waiting. It's a very good song. There's a lot of inspirational songs out there, especially now with the Christmas uh, spirit in, in the air. You know, it's good to to get into the music. With you being in Jersey, I mean, do you guys have any programs? That are coming for the because I mean Christmas is coming. Do you guys have any programs that are coming up that we should be aware of? No, no, we don't have any programs. Well, I'm gonna try to change it after this and see if we can get something. Definitely. So let's take a small break and so we can discuss this on privately. Okay. And then um, you guys give us a minute. We'll be right back. <laughs> and best friends. I love my sister. My heart, my heart is a sea race. race. Love is love. Our family is no less than any other family. They call me Maxi, but I prefer tripod. I was your above average four-legged homie and then wham, bam, minivan. Some people pity me. Now that's lame. I still run, fetch, and swim. And the ladies love me. I'm the ultimate wingman. Just don't ask me to high five. Sure, I look cute now, but when my owner lost his job, it was rough. I was living on the street, and one night, me and this Cocker Spaniel got into it so bad, I wound up looking like an ice cream cone. I cried a little bit, but thankfully I got rescued, so I'm running, I'm jumping, all back to my old self. And I'm ready to give unconditional love, even if you put a lampshade on my head. Hello everyone, we're back. This, uh, my name is Sergeant Duran and this is Vet Talk. We have Mr. Cortez, Chaplain Cortez, excuse me. Now, I'm gonna ask you for a little favor. Um, I know you said you have some music that you've written. Would, would it be okay if you played it? Is that okay? Sure. Now, do you need anything special or can No, I could use the table. Can I okay. use your table? Hold please, the table please. tight. I'll hold it right here. Okay, this song is, I wrote it. It's called I'm Happy. I'm gonna give you part of it, okay? And, um, uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. God gave us his son and his special blood. I'm happy, I'm happy. He came from above to die on the cross. I'm happy, I'm happy. Now I'm alive, yes, now I'm alive. 
Salvation is mine. I'm happy. I'm happy. The joy that I feel in my heart come from above. God gave it to me. It's not from a drug. It's not an illusion. It's not from a pill playing video games or watching Kill Bill. It's not from sex, the pleasures of life, a bottle of rum, or smoking a pipe, a fat BMW, or a four-wheel drive. Love comes from above only through Christ Jesus. Christ makes me happy. happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you so go. much. I love the transition. To that was go. beautiful. I'm not a rapper, by the way. But you did a good but job. But it, it's, it's amazing how the Lord has given me a way to write songs in rap form. I guess to get the young, the youth, you know, they're into that type of stuff. And right away, they, they light up when they hear, you know, rap. But then the words get them. Bam. And it's it got not, me. Yeah. It got me. Because it has the meaning of the Lord behind it. Now, thank you once again. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the, the beautiful song. Now, if other individuals in the audience wants to reach you, how would they do so? Yes. Uh, my name is Frank Cortez. My cell phone is 646-721-8279. If you have a, a person, a friend, a neighbor that needs to uh, get rehabilitated from drugs or alcohol or pills and they are willing to uh, submit to this program called Way Out in 520 148th Street in the Bronx, give me a call. I will pick them up and I will bring them there, but they have to be willing to submit themselves for nine months of treatment. With the Lord behind them, they will succeed. Is uh, I, I recommend it. Thank you so much, Chaplain. Now, to reach Devil Dog, or excuse me, to be on Vet Talk, you can email us at CEO at DevilDogUSAINC.org, or you can check us out on www.DevilDogUSAINC.org. Thank you for being with us today, and once again, God bless America.